Hello, okay, I'm going to go through a video on how to submit and process a Opus solution to your base point inside Trimble Business Center. So, I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to flow through this fairly quickly and try to keep it from being too boring. I'm going to simply select a new project using my template here that I created and literally drag and drop in a job file that will be a good to use as an example for this procedure so you can see right away here as soon as this comes in um, there's one base with multiple multiple hundreds of vectors coming out of it so this base was recording static data with the TL4 file. So what I'm going to do is jump right into our um, processing services. Opens up this window where we can browse to or literally drag and drop our GNSS file right into here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop in this .to4 file and it will upload it right to the server for processing this is a I think this is the best way to to submit your files uh, the the antenna settings review it's it, it's accurate it is just a review you don't have to make any changes or corrections it knows right from the TO4 file the antenna height the measurements and it actually does the conversions and phase center shift measurements for you. Uh, it shows you a quick review as a sanity check but there shouldn't be anything you have to do to change this anymore unless you specifically have a a reason to. Um, you can simply hit next Your processing options uh, we're going to select Opus to send it to and hit next and then simply type in your email address I've done this once or twice. Um, once I hit next, it's going to submit it. I've already done this and received it back, so I'm not going to do that, but it simply submits it and tells you you will receive an email soon. So that's it. You get right back into your project, and when that email actually does come back, you're going to see it basically something like this. A lot of good information to review. What we're looking for for this particular video is our latitude right here, our longitude, our west longitude here in our in Colorado, and our ellipsoidal height. Those are the three pieces of information we need. So I'm going to expand my points and a couple key things. I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. You can see that when I highlight this, it opens the properties of that point and everything is grayed out as far as the position. In order to apply an Opus solution you have to expand this out and then that very first one is your global position and now you can see that our our coordinate, our lat long height is blue allowing us to change it. Obviously this is the only time we would we would do something like this but what I can do is I can really come in here to this report and the way I like to do it we can pull in this XML file as well maybe that's a secondary video we can do but I, I like to pull it right out of this lat I highlight it and hit a control C I come over here and double or sometimes triple click inside that and then just paste it when I hit enter it applies the proper formatting. I do the same thing to the west. I do have to add a negative or a W into here at some point. I like just to just click it and do a negative control V paste. And there it is, no problem. And make sure, you know, do a sanity check. Make sure your numbers are, are, are coming in properly as far as the 
105 degrees, 32 minutes, 5.98427 seconds. It's coming in absolutely properly. And then last thing, same thing. I'm going to grab this ellipsoid height, just the numbers, control C. And because it is in meters, I can paste it with control V and then hit M and enter. Then we'll change it to the proper units for my project. I'm going to call this control quality. And I can call this height control quality. It's still a GPS height, so I like to call it survey quality. I might end up changing that in the future with like a say level data or something. Um, so I'm not going to I'm going to call it survey quality and leave that control quality as an option for later. But once we do that, we can compute the project and a shift happens. Very slight shift. It was a here key solution, uh, autonomous. And at this point, I do want to come in here and save my project. That way it starts to create the TBC folder and file structure that it wants. Um, I actually already created an Opus video, so when I do that, replace the existing file, you can see that if there's other files that are brought in here, it would actually, it actually creates a secondary folder with information as well, just like it does inside Trimble Access. So you want to save, once you get a job inside TBC, you want to make sure and save that as a TBC project. And that way you have it and it, like I said, it links the right files to the right folders. Um, Recompute was done. You can see now that we have a office entered position on that. Shouldn't need to be changed ever again. And this is our other information based upon that Opus solution. So. We should be good to go. That'll take care of it. Hope you enjoyed the video. It wasn't too boring. And thank you.